Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Olivia Kinyu. Thank you for stopping by and today I'm going to show you how I did this haircut by myself at home within like half an hour to an hour maybe. It depends how fast you are. I was recording this video so it took me some time but I'm really happy with the result. Excuse me, my dog, he wants to participate in everything. Um, I wanted to go for a longer bangs and just a little bit of layer up front and kind of keep my length in the back. Um, I also took a couple inches over here and um, I really wanted to give my hair some volume and if you see what my hair looked like uh, before you would understand what I mean when I this is look so much better hey dude come here come here baby uh, my dog wants to be a part of this video he thinks he is a star I mean he definitely is um, but yeah, I'm very happy with the result, um, and um, yeah, I'm gonna take you on a journey uh, how I did it, and I hopefully you can do the same at home. It's super easy. Um, I really enjoy the volume of my hair, and I think it looks more presentable, and I look definitely much younger, so um, I think the light is better here. I'm very very happy. It's not my first time cutting my hair. I wish I documented previous journeys. I used to take my long hair and I would do a bob or I would do highlights by myself but this time I wanted to kind of get rid of the slight endings uh, of my hair um, from previous balayage or highlights, I don't know, um, and kind of keep it more natural and eventually I'm probably going to go ahead and um, uh, dye my hair a little bit darker or kind of like a more natural color covering my gray hair and um, yeah but look at this nice layers it's nothing too crazy I have really nice bangs and uh, you can style it nicely putting your hair up in a bun or whatever you like so it still has this nice um, kind of contour shaping hair and you can put it behind your ear so um, I really like this long bangs because um, just I don't have to explain you guys and now let's go ahead and I'll show you how I did it hello guys and welcome to my bathroom today I decided to cut my hair and give it a little bit of layers uh, I feel like my hair just you know, complete mess. They're very straight. They don't have any volume in it. And I just wanted to give it uh, a little bit like maybe a curtain bank to kind of bring up the hair a little bit up and just a little bit of layers here um, to make it look like a nice haircut. Um, I have a little bit of here um, leftovers from balayage or God knows what I've done in the past. And I haven't been doing anything to my hair for a long time, so I have a natural hair color um, grew all the way. So I'm trying to kind of get rid of um, this blonde ends a little bit, but I'm probably still going to stick around with that. And once I do my haircut, um, I would like to go ahead and maybe um, give my hair a little bit of color. Uh, maybe I'll give, buy a toner or just buy something in Ultra or I don't know, CVS. Just to get rid of a little bit of like gray hair because you know we're getting old and all this stress around it. And yeah, I really hope it's gonna work. I wish a bunch of you do tutorials but it's not my first time cutting my hair actually. Um, I've done it many times in the past. I went from this length before to bob hair by myself. I wish I documented that process because uh, on TikTok uh, it got a lot of views. I'm gonna pop the video over here and I can actually uh, link it down in the description. You can see um, I think that video came out really good. Uh, I did a good job layering my hair and I've done it in the past and it took me like maybe an hour or so to do so but I never styled actually long curtain bangs I know they're popular right now I'm not sure how it's gonna work uh, in particular here because I live in Florida so anything that we style basically we do with our hair it's gonna go down and literally gonna become this and that's terrible considering the weather but 
um, it's gonna get soon very chilly and nice outside we're going into fall season and here in like central north florida um, the weather is not as hot as humid during fall and winter time and there's less rain so i really hope my hairstyle is gonna last so let's start it So I uh, basically um, divided my hair into parts right now and we're gonna figure out our triangle for our bangs. We probably want them to come from here. My hair are actually very, very thin. Alright, so I think I did good and now we're gonna clip the rest of our hair so they won't be in the way. Alright, and I'm gonna wet this part so it's easier to cut. So I have two pair of scissors here um, that are kind of professional that had for a long time that I use and let's just do it. So we have to determine the length of our bangs. I don't know if I want to make them shorter. We can always go shorter if we would like. Uh, but as of right now, if I do it on the side, I just want to make sure some of them go uh, under my um, ear. Um, it's gonna be like that. So this is the length I'm gonna go for. It's slightly uh, down the chin. And let's just do it. We did this part. So now that we determine the length somehow, we're gonna go to the middle again. Alright, so now we're gonna do those layers. So we're gonna tuck this behind my ear and We're going to brush this part over here and kind of see where this end over here is and that's where basically we're going to cut it. Okay, and then we're going to make sure we're cutting this part right. And then when we return it, it has this like nice slight angle, but um, 
yeah, actually this one is really well. Um, I might make this even shorter, but we'll see when I style it how high it's gonna go. Um, and we're gonna do the same with this thing. The same, we try to go cross, right, and determine the length of right here, and we're just going to cut this part. And straighten that up a little. Look at this nice. <gasps> oh, that's very cool. It's actually better than on this side. So I'm like, okay. Now we're gonna take this down. gonna dry them a little bit and see what's gonna what's gonna be Ooh. okay so <laughs> we got some interesting layers going on here so yeah it's definitely working it's definitely looking a little bit better so now that i see that it's working actually i'm gonna go ahead and style a little bit of layers here so we have this nice texture okay now that we have bangs that are not styled completely on but i really like this a nice wave and i think my face looks so much better compared to how it previously look um you can definitely see that it creates this like a little bit of um volume in my hair um so i'm gonna go ahead and style this part i have no idea how but we'll figure it out as long as you don't afraid to cut your hair um i think you'll do just fine and the best part of having this haircut is that you can go and put your hair in a bun and you have this like nice kind of sexy look you know and it makes you look really younger in some way you know so i'm gonna go ahead and take a part of my hair over here um and kind of clip the back of it so it won't bother me and I'm gonna do the same from this side as well um, it's okay if it's not ideal believe me when you do layers nobody's going to notice um, and then I'm gonna wet them a little bit as well Now that our hair are a little bit wet, I'm gonna do a little more. So now I'm gonna go ahead and bring all this hair up front because since we wanna create layers, we have to basically cut it over here, a little bit closer to the front of our face. And since we already have this like a layer over here, we wanna follow the same line and slide right down. Okay, and so now I have a little bit of layer going on here, but I wanted to uh, make it a little bit less choppy uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that 
Okay, so I went ahead and straightened those up a little bit, kind of give them a nice layer and then once I dry it out completely, I'll see where I can, I would need to cut more and because I feel like these are a little bit abrupt, but I'm gonna use um, this um, kind of uh, scissors to blend it a little bit and get rid of this like heaviness at the end of my hair. Well, first of all, I need to measure to make sure it's the same length that I'm cutting. See how different these are? So we want to make sure we follow the same pattern. All right, we're getting somewhere here. So I'm going to go ahead and do some um, layers on this side as well. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and take this scissors and try to get rid of some extra hair at the end. I feel like it's going to be a very nice texture and once I style it, you're going to see what I mean. So now, so now we're going to take this and bring out the back and kind of level it a little bit. Okay, so I did just went ahead and uh, brought everything from the back up front and I kind of cut it in this angle so everything is level up and I think it looks so much better so I'm gonna style it right now and see what it looks like I'm not crazy when it comes to styling my hair, but guys, this is a game changer. Just look at this volume. I absolutely love it. I'm probably gonna style a little bit more, but I just wanted to show you uh, what it looked like, and I'm pretty sure all of you can do it at home. It is great. Um, long bangs are perfect. You can still put it behind your ear, and the best part is, so you can do this like, nice hairstyle um so it kind of love it sexy you know and um, yeah i'm very excited uh how it turned out uh, it didn't take me long probably 30 minutes and maybe maximum an hour um if you're not professional definitely you can do it at home and you can save so much money i love these layers i still have a little bit of um the swipe strips left but it's okay um i kind of gives this nice uh, style to my hair um, so yeah uh, thank you for watching and good luck